And Sherry, congratulations on being inducted in the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. It was a privilege and a surprise. Excellent. What individual had the greatest impact on your wrestling career? It's a crazy character. His name is Walter Allrich. He is my, he was my inspiration. He really was. He coached me. He took me to the next level. And I, you know, I really should have won the world if I would have did him justice. But I, I have a million thanks to him. Excellent. Who was your wrestling idol or hero growing up? My wrestling idol or hero? That would have to be my brothers. That was my first introduction to wrestling was my watching my brothers wrestle because I'm going to be 61 this year so girls were not allowed to wrestle when I was growing up so I watched my brother turn in, turn from a, a chunky kid to a manly wrestler we need to, we need to do that over again Anyway, he was just kind of a short little fat kid, and then he started wrestling, and within a few years, he was a lean, mean wrestling machine, and I, that always stuck with me. You know, I used to be able to beat him up, and then all of a sudden I couldn't. So, anyway, my brothers are definitely my, got me into wrestling, and they are my heroes, for sure. I'm sure they had a big impact on your career and what yes. you today. Yes, they did have a big impact on my, my uh, career. Um, we lived in the country. We did a lot of fighting. So, yeah, I, I, I fought for my life out there. I did. I did. But they're great guys. They both coach, coach wrestling. Both my brothers coach wrestling. And they also teach the special ed. So they're amazing individuals. Amazing. Excellent. Seems like that's a common thread in the family. Yeah, common thread, for sure. What personal attributes contributed most to your success in the sport of wrestling? Um, my wrestling coach would say, just because I'm so mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't agree with that. I, I don't like to quit. I, I like the hard work. I like the discipline. And that's probably the biggest factors in my wrestling. Throughout your wrestling career, what's the single most memorable match or event that you can remember? So many. Probably the most memorable match was when I was wrestling in France and I threw my first five point throw. I had uh, picked a girl up in practice um, earlier in the day, and my coach, Mike, Dur Mike Duran, Mike, Mike Duro, pardon me, he said, If you pick up another girl, I want you to turn around and find me. So I pick, I picked this girl up, and so I'm, I'm, turning around, looking, looking for Mike, and all he did was yell at me, throw, throw! I'm like, I knew that. <laughs> but it was kind of funny. It took me a while to throw the girl once I had her picked up, and that's probably my most memorable match. Huge five point. That's a big one. It was, it was, it was, it was something. What made you get involved in wrestling? My boyfriend at the time, we had went to the high school match and we were a little saddened by the competition in the town that we were living in. So we just, he decided that he was gonna start coaching the elementary kids. So he got, a, he got the school to put together a team. And the first day of practice, he had 75 kids come out. So I get this panicked phone call, Sherry, please, please come down to the school and help me. And I said, well, okay. So I, I zoomed down there and he was teaching them half Nelsons and things. I'm like, look, you know, I know what a half Nelson is. I know a single leg and a double leg just from, you know, fooling around with my brothers. And so that's how I got started. That is the truth. <laughs> that's a perfect little segue. If you had the opportunity to restart your career in any way, is there anything you would change? Oh, sure. I would have started a lot sooner, a lot sooner. I was always old from the get-go, I think I was close to 30. And you know, the girls were in college, so, and I had a full-time job, so I had to work and wrestle and travel. It was, it was tough, so I would definitely would have started earlier before I had all the, before I, I had a job and all the responsibilities that come with adulthood. What would you like people to remember you by? 
Well, I hope they remember my competitiveness, and I also hope that the little girls that I coached and helped coach, I hope they learned a lot of life lessons because I know they were some of my my greatest accomplishments, you know, coaching the little girls. You know, the first little girls. It was a first date. So I was very proud of them, beating the little boys, you know, and I, I, I wish that I would have continued to coach because now I see tournaments with 800 girls. So that's just phenomenal. Well, congratulations on your induction to the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. You got a big legacy that you're leaving behind and uh, you've got a lot to be proud of. Thank you so very much.